All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi back at the track for another video. Today, it's gonna be a short, crispy, clean video. <laughs> crispy, we don't cut, we don't cut. Um, five tips to help you instantly run faster. So, you're gonna wanna stay tuned for this one. Stick around. Oh, nothing lasts forever. So before we get into this one, if you guys don't know already, we recently released some t-shirts. I'm wearing one of them right now. This is a gray long sleeve t-shirt. We also have some black t-shirts and I also have a bunch of other stuff on my website. So if you're watching this video, just to say thanks, I'm gonna create a discount code. It's gonna be run faster. I'll put it on the screen right here. And for anyone who's watching this video, if you go to my website and purchase anything on the website from t-shirts to run faster programs to custom diet plans, workout plans, whatever's on there, there's stickers, all kinds of stuff. At checkout, if you put in the code run faster, you will save 20% off your entire order. And that's just to say thank you to everyone who watches my videos, gives those thumbs up, subscribes to the channel, shares it with their friends. It's my way of saying thanks and giving back to you. So let's get into this video. Five ways to help you instantly run faster. First tip is stay hydrated, okay? So if you don't know, 70% of your muscles are actually made of water. Water also helps do a bunch of other functions in your body, almost every, every bodily function uses water. As a normal everyday human being, you should be getting at least 64 ounces of water a day. As an athlete, when we're doing hard workouts, sweating our asses off, working super hard, we should be getting double that amount, okay? So the more water you drink, the more hydrated you are, the better your muscles are gonna be perform, the less cramps you're gonna have, the less soreness you're gonna have, and the more endurance you're gonna have to come back from those races and perform better than other people, okay? So make sure you're drinking enough water. I cannot stress this enough drink a ton of water. I know you're gonna be pissing all the time. It happens to me too, it's just something you gotta deal with. So that's the first tip, drink a ton of water, okay? Tip number two, eat a well-balanced diet. <clears throat> this is something, I, if you've seen my diet video, I'll put it as a link in the description below, track and field diet. Um, this is something I did not really do well enough when I was in college. I didn't really understand the importance of protein, complex carbs, healthy fats, and all that kind of stuff. And I think that it's one area of Literally, I would say diet is probably 50% of the equation or more, okay? So the stuff that you're doing on the track is breaking your body down. What you do at night to rest and fuel your body with is gonna help you recover and allow you to perform at your highest ability, okay? Especially day of the meat, stuff that you're eating, day before the meat, the night of. You gotta be getting those complex, healthy carbohydrates, pasta, um, rice, um, oatmeal, and then obviously healthy protein sources, lean meats, uh, fish, turkey, um, avocados for healthy fats, all kinds of stuff like that. So um, I actually have custom plans available on my website. If you guys want me to write you a plan, tell you exactly what you should be eating, I'd be happy to do that. Again, you can also check out the video. I talked more in depth on that. I'll put it in the description below, okay? So that's tip number two, eat a well-balanced diet. It'll help dramatically improve your times instantly. Number three, which kind of goes hand in hand with that, is sleeping at night. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. I know people in high school and college are super busy, you've got tests, you've got all kinds of stuff going on. You have to get enough sleep at night. I recommend at least eight hours or more. We personally sleep like nine <laughs> hours a night or sometimes more, honestly. At night is when your body is doing the most recovering, okay? That's when your body's repairing muscles, doing, um, you know, shuttling memory stuff, sorting out brain functioning, all kinds of stuff like that. So, um, and it happens in the deepest part of your sleep, which comes after six hours, seven hours, eight hours, okay? You will literally be less sore if you sleep more at night, okay? It's gonna allow you to perform at a much higher level. You're gonna have more endurance. You're gonna be more alert. You're gonna make better decisions. It's gonna help you run faster, I promise you, okay? So, get enough sleep. It goes hand in hand with diet and hydration, okay? Tip number four is warming up. Okay, I talked about this almost in every video I have. I've made a specific video on how to warm up correctly. I will put it in the description below. If you're not warming up correctly, guys, I really can't stress this enough. The day of the meet, warming up and your diet is probably the two biggest things that you can do, okay? If you're not taking at least an hour before your race to warm up and get like warmed up, you should be out of breath, you should be sweating, you should be 
heart rate high and elevated, um, you're not gonna run at your best. It's really that simple. Right now, I haven't really done any warm up. If I try to run a 100 meter dash right now, I'd say between warming up and not warming up, there'd probably be, for me, at my age, probably a three second difference, I would guess, in my time. Like, I'm not even joking, okay? So, if you don't know, um, it takes your body about three hours or four hours to wake up and be prepared for heavy, uh, for intense um, sporting activities, okay? So if you have an event that's at 11 o'clock um, in the morning, you should be up three to four hours before that event in order to perform at your best at that event. So keep that in mind, guys. That goes hand in hand with warming up correctly. Again, I'll put the description in the uh, link in the description below so you can check out and make sure you're warming up correctly to perform for your events, okay? The last tip, tip number five, Visualization, okay? If you don't have a race plan, if you don't have um, some sort of idea of what you're gonna be doing that day, how you're gonna be running your race, you're not gonna perform at your best, okay? You should you should know exactly how to run the races. Again, if you go onto my channel, I've got how to run every single race from the 100 meter dash, to the 200 meter dash, to the 100 hurdles, 200 hurdles, there's no 200 hurdles. <laughs> 110 hurdles, the 400, I, I talk about how you should run those races, okay? When you're preparing, when you're warming up for your race, the night before the event, driving on the bus to the event, sitting in the, the bleachers before your event, and then once you start warming up for your event, you should be visualizing what you're gonna be doing throughout your race. What am I doing when I come out of the blocks? What am I doing around the curve? Where do I wanna be in the stagger to the guys next to me? What am I doing over the hurdles? What cues am I using to make sure I'm running correctly? Where am I gonna drop into my float phase? All that kind of stuff, I used to visualize over and over and over again. I'd visualize myself coming up out of the blocks, running nice and smooth, coming down the back stretch. What I was gonna do, I'd visualize myself all the way through the entire race, literally over and over and over again. And I even visualize myself running through that finish line and winning the race, winning the event. And honestly, guys, visualization is huge, and I don't think people use it enough, okay? So there you go, guys. That's five tips right there that can help you instantly run faster. And no joke, guys, this is serious stuff. It's not some BS. This is real stuff that I used to do that helped me run my fastest times, okay? And on another note, I will just say, um, it's not about just what you do the day of the meet. I'll, you know, I'll get emails and questions saying, hey, I have a meet tomorrow. What can I do to run faster tomorrow? These are the kind of things that you can do to run faster, okay? Um, but also, it's about a lifestyle. Track and field is a lifestyle. Playing any kind of sport is a lifestyle. If you wanna be the best that you can be and you wanna compete at that high level, you have to make sacrifices, okay? So, you know, that means getting enough sleep at night, going to bed early when your friends are out you know, doing whatever, watching movies, partying, all that kind of stuff. It's about sacrifice, okay? So, you know, all of these little things that you do, they'll add up to the big things at the end of the day. When you're out leaning someone, you know, when, when you don't take that stutter step like the guy next to you because you got enough sleep, you had enough hydration, all that stuff comes into play, okay? So keep that stuff in mind. I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to like it if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to swing by my website, snag some gear, snag some plans, 20% off if you use my code RUNFASTER. And be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notification. Share this with your friends and family who are trying to run faster. And until next time, guys, run fast.